Welcome back to Vikings Huddle. We have a great science lesson planned out for you today. So let's join David Morgan over at the Science Museum of Minnesota for today's episode of Skull Science. Uh, next up in our video, do you guys remember what we saw? We saw a... Tornado. tornado, yeah, come on over here, David. Yeah, we saw a tornado, yeah. Now, a tornado um, is a spinning mass of air uh, capable of picking up houses, cars, Dorothy's, Totos, um, and uh, basically what you've got is you've got a heavy dense layer of air on top of a less dense layer of air, and when spinning occurs, it's a really efficient way for that heavy dense air to drop, that lighter air to rise. In the case of a water tornado or a whirlpool, what you've got is you've got a heavy dense layer of water on top of a less dense layer of air, and when spinning occurs, it is an efficient, it's an efficient way for that heavy dense water to drop and that lighter air to rise, and the result will be a whirlpool or a water tornado. Oh, come on, whirlpool. Don't make a liar out of me. All right. There we go. Ah, really serene image, right? Yeah. Very neat. Yeah, and uh, you know, you've probably seen these in nature. Um, in fact, uh, you've probably seen this effect when you unplug a bathtub or a sink, right? Uh, you'd call this a water tornado or a whirlpool. You can have a tornado made of air, which we saw in our video. You can even have a tornado made of fire. Do you want to see a fire tornado? <laughs> yeah, you want to see a fire tornado? Oh, yeah, let's do it. So in order to have fire, we need a couple of things. Um, we need, of course, uh, fuel, and the fuel we're going to be working with today is uh, basically just denatured alcohol. All right. We also, of course, to have fire, we need oxygen. <sighs> Thankfully, we've got oxygen today. That. Um, and we've got, oh, I took my light out earlier. Yes, yeah, thank you. We need heat. So we've got all three parts of the fire triangle. Let's put them together. We have fire. So right now we've got a relatively small flame. It's not getting any bigger, it's not getting any smaller, and that's because we have a steady flow of air slash oxygen on our flame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start spinning it, and I'm gonna let you take over. Um, but we're gonna start spinning this guy around. So this is about the speed. Wanna give it a try? I'd love to. Awesome, but yeah. We've got fire. So, uh, fire tornadoes. Um, in science, we call this a fire vortex. Tornado is totally acceptable. They do occur in nature. Whenever there's a forest fire and the wind starts whipping around, this can happen. In fact, the town of Hinkley, Minnesota is home to a world famous fire tornado that destroyed much of the town. And if you go onto the internet, you can look up fire tornado and you can, yeah, you can go a little bit faster. You can see them. There you go. Now we're cooking with fire. Very nice. Fire tornado, yeah! Let's hear it for David and our fire tornado. All right, let it spin out. Ooh, it's getting pretty warm up here. Oh, that is toasty. Oh man, come January or February, this is the best place to be in the museum. All right, 